Hi, and welcome to section 6 about using Node.js to access the file system. In this section we will look into the file system API of Node.js and how to manipulate the file system with Node.js. We will look at how to iterate over files and folders, we will read and write to a file, and in our last video we will handle a file upload. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with iterating over files and folders. It's great to have you here. In this video we're going to take a look at the file system API of Node.js. We will expand our CLI application so we can search for the biggest file in a folder. Another big core library of Node.js is FS and it stands for File System. It has a lot of great functionality, from checking if a file exists, to changing the rights of a file, to append content to a file, and so on. It is a file I.O. library of Node.js. The library itself is just a simple round to standard POSIX functions. All the methods that FS provides have a synchronous and an asynchronous form. The synchronous form requires the callback as its last argument. On the Node.js website you'll find the necessary information about all the options that the API brings. Let's create a command in our CLI program that searches for the biggest file. First of all we need to require file system API on top of our file. With fs.readdir, we read a directory. So, fs.readdir. And as a first argument, we can use search part. And as a second argument, we have a function that has error and files as arguments. And then we need to check if we have an error. When we have an error, we need to exit the program. We can do that by using the global object process. And that has an op a method exit to stop our application. We also need to warn the user with console error. Then we need to iterate over all the files. So files dot for each. And then we have a callback function. File comma index. The next step we will use the part. API of node. So with this part API we will construct or complete part to our file. On the part API we have a join method. And as a first argument, we can provide our search part. As a second argument, we can provide our file name. And then we can define a function that gives us the file size of our file. We can do that with the method statsync. With statsync method, we can get a lot of statistics about our file. Then we can define variable file size. We call 
on your function, we provide a complete part to that function. Then we will check if the file size is bigger than our biggest file until now. When that's the case, we assign our file size to the size and to our file name, current file. At the end, we print out our result. Now in the folder files, we have three files. 123.txt, lorem.txt and small.txt. And in lorem.txt we have a lot of text. In small we have just ABC. In 123.txt we have some, we have some text. When we test this out in our console, we get the following result. chooses lorem.txt. So, it's working. In this video, we search between files and use the information of the files to provide you the biggest files.